Hi everyone. Oh. Hi everyone. So sorry if the lighting's a little bit weird today. We are currently here on the border of Tennessee and Georgia. We are currently at Grumpy's Antiques, which is a huge antique store here in... I, I can't remember if we're technically in Georgia or Tennessee. One of those. I know we're like pretty much on the border. So I usually always come out of here with definitely a uh, couple bags of goodness uh, in hand. So I'm really excited to see what we can either find for resale uh, or my own collection. So make sure you keep watching, like and subscribe, and let's get into it, shall we? We're going to hit up quite a few places today here in Tennessee. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted by a ton of jewelry. Oh my gosh. So we are making our way down the first side of the first floor, I should say. I always like to stop at this one vendor. They always usually have some kitsch Christmas, had some sweet little nylon winged angels, some other little felt flocked ornaments. I did, however, love this collection of telephones. Now, they're a little bit more contemporary than I usually go after, but I think they're really quite whimsical uh, and would be a great statement piece in any home. And of course, one thing I always pick up are salt and pepper shakers. I actually remember getting a great anthropomorphic PY set of flowers from this vendor, but loved the little Humpty Dumpties. Those were made of hard plastic. And I'm making my way towards the other part of the first floor, and there is a good row of glass cases. Always running some sales. Loved that little Scottish couple. Some depression glass. And is it just me or am I seeing Funko Pops more and more at antique stores? Which I just, I have never understood the Funko Pop uh, craze. I'm not saying that they aren't definitely popular. I'm just saying that they are everywhere, as you can see. So we're on the middle floor currently. I will say, I think I like the top floor the most. That's where I find... Oh, I know he's new, but he's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> he's very fun. Ooh, it is hot up here. So we have a bunch of retro action figures some more contemporary ones a lot still in the packaging granted not super familiar with action figures it's a subject matter that i just don't really pick up unless i have some knowledge on it beforehand but all really fun to look at nonetheless Always have some really great Pyrex here, I must say. Oh yeah, they've had these Easter containers I've been eyeing. Granted, all of them are at, eh, right at retail, if not more. Oh, I love this actually. <laughs> That's a really cute teapot. China, though. I will say this section, I am walking so carefully through. As you can see, it is loaded up with Pyrex. Honestly, this is probably some of the most Pyrex I've ever seen. Well, oh, fun. Barbie house. This one's a different colorway, which is nice. Oh, these mildly terrifying. 
<laughs> Little toys. Oh, they do still have a few of these awesome little pencil sharpeners. These are quite darling. I've picked them up a couple of times since I've been here. All right, and we're in the land of the retro Christmas. Oh, how fun. See a little pencil sharpener. Darling. Oh, and these are pencil sharpeners too. Those are so cool. And just a ton of ornaments. Aw, that one's broken. This vendor always has really sweet stuff. A lot of kitsch ceramics. And Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. It's everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all of this. That is truly quite a collection. Oh, I love this pattern. And we have approached all of the cases. Now I will say in a little bit, I'll show the rows and rows and rows of them. I personally love looking through a glass case. So anytime a place has a ton of them, I always really meticulously look through everything. And it doesn't hurt that a lot of vendors are running sales as well. My goodness. <laughs> Ooh, this case is 75% off. Sweet. We are certainly in the land of cases. I did spot those cute little S&P uh, pixie elves. Those were fun. And you can see they go back and back and back. Of course, I spot some dolls. I see some, I think, Guatemalan dolls in the back. Those are always fun with their expressive faces. And we got Miss Velvet in there, which, eh, I'm not opening a case for her, that's all I'll say. Got some great thermoses. I love the little Casper and Wendy one. I've never seen that before. Do you spot some vintage Barbie? Well, mostly just a vintage Barbie case. And hey, Brittany. I was hoping there might be some more 60s stuff in here. And we got some Furbies. Let me know in the comments if anyone had a Furby growing up. I know I did, and I remember my mom taking the batteries out of it, and it still talked. Quite terrifying. But did want to show off these canisters. If I had room for them, they'd probably be coming home with me. We are in the land of blow molds. Holy cow. I swear, when people have blow molds, they truly have some blow molds. Ah! Ooh, that one still has its box. Cute. 
<laughs> Girl, we've all been there. I hear you. Oh, how fun is this setup? Oh, I actually really, I know she's new, but I kind of love her. Hey everyone, so we left the first place. I'll show a quick haul of what we picked up. Only really picked up a few items. Uh, I didn't film as much as I typically would have liked to. I feel like I always do that though. Uh, did end up finding some cute little like vintage 1980s My Little Ponies. Thought those were really cool. Um, picked up some like little baby rattles. I always like to sell those. Found something for the boyfriend. And then, what else did we pick? Oh, then ended up picking up this cute little Hong Kong piggy bank, which, again, fun few finds. So now I'm currently here in the antique district. Uh, so hopefully we find a lot of vintage. We have a couple of antique stores to choose from. So fingers crossed. <laughs>